Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am broadcasting today from Boston. But I'm here for my first ever science conference, but I'm calling it a science retreat because that just sounds way more fun. new here hello my name is Ellie I talk about PhDs and grad school life as an international student from the UK studying abroad in the USA so if that is something that you're interested in please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more PhD content so back to the agenda we're gonna cover what is a conference and what on earth happens there then we're gonna talk about why you should do a conference um, the benefits of doing a conference and why we all love them and how you can best prepare for going to your first conference and then the best part a conference hall all the free stuff that I got from my conference let's get Get started. Okay, so conferences are basically a massive get together amongst scientists and researchers from a similar field or similar area of interest. Virology conference, which would be full of virologists or like a biotech conference and that kind of thing. So there's loads of different conferences. So there are, is gonna be one that fits into your little research niche. So I would definitely recommend having a little Google and shortlisting some of the conferences that you might like to go to. What happens there is people basically share their research. So there'll be a series of talks from PhD students and postdocs workshops and poster sessions all from people presenting the research that they've been doing then we have the exhibits so this is where sponsors of the conference or uh, people will pay to exhibit their business so there'll be like lots of different equipment exhibits or software exhibits or journals will come and exhibit that is where you get all of the free stuff which we'll come to in a later section of this video. But I also want to talk about some of my main takeaways from my first conference. Number one, conferences are absolutely huge and they can be super, super, super overwhelming. So definitely planning ahead before you go is an absolute must. These conferences are like huge. There's like eight to 10 different mini conferences inside this one convention center. So it's like three floors of just like massive material science galore. Honestly, if you're a material scientist, you should be at MRS. The second thing kind of spinning off that slightly is taking some time to rest. A lot of the time the schedules are so packed because there are so many little mini conferences going on inside this one big conference that it can be super easy to just not um, take any downtime for networking or having lunch or things. I definitely learned this the hard way and I actually got sick towards the end of the conference because I was just so burnt out from trying to attend absolutely everything. Now I know that this isn't always possible in the conferences but just try and take the rest where you can, you know. And the final thing that I would say is follow up. So use the networking opportunity. So the people that you meet or the talks that you go to, make a note of their contact details and follow up. Go up to them at the end and say hey that was a great talk like I'd love to chat really open up the chances for collaboration it makes me feel so motivated I've had to make a massive list of all of the projects that I've got going on at the moment but now let's talk about why would you ever want to go to a conference they kind of sound quite big and quite stressful so what are the good things about going to the conferences my number one as a PhD student as an early career PhD student would be experience this is a perfect chance to practice telling your research to the world this is done in one of two ways typically at a conference or maybe both if you're super keen. Number one would be an oral presentation. So you can apply and submit your abstract to do a 10, 12, 15 minute oral presentation at the conference. Or number two would be a poster presentation where you stand, you present your poster and you stand there in a hall, people come round and ask you questions about your poster. <laughs> So I'm sat in the lobby and it's my first day today and I'm giving my talk. I'm really nervous. Um, I know that when I get nervous, I talk really fast. And I know that I talk quite fast in videos, not because I'm nervous, just because I get excited. So I made a conscious effort this time to slow it down. And I very almost ran out of time in some of the end slides. However, that being said, it did go really, really well. And I had like some people come up to me and say that it was a good talk afterwards, which is really nice to see. So top tips for people presenting at conferences, slow down and make sure that you allow yourself time to slow down. The second reason to do conferences is networking. Uh, you can meet your collaborators that you've heard about from distant lands and you can get together and chat about what you can do. You can make new collaborations, you can make new friends. They are just a fun time to get together with like-minded people. And then the third thing, I know we're not really supposed to say this, but this it's a reason to travel. It's a great chance to travel as a PhD student. So conferences are held in like Italy or Boston or all of these great places, the UK, you know? It's a great chance to get out there and travel and see the world as a PhD student. So sign up if you can. Eek, and now the final part of this video, which I'm very excited about is the hall. I just went around the exhibit halls and chatted to people who had exhibits that might be relevant to my research. And they kind of just give you stuff or like there's some fun competitions that you can enter. And this is my bag of stuff that I was given. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness. Number one is this plushy vacuum pump. <laughs> How cute is this? Ah, oh, then we have like, you know, the classic, a little 50 year MRS cup. Um, and inside there's this little sticker, like a little sticker. This is from Flak Tech. Black Tech made these. It was really cool, actually. That's why I spoke to them. It was like this mixer thing. <gasps> I forgot about this. Oh my goodness. Yes. I got a t shirt. It's like quite a fun color as well. Oh, Royal Society Chemistry gave me a nice little notebook. It's got periodic table on the back, which I quite liked. I chatted to them for a while, actually. Ah, uh, this is a good mug. I got this from License to Chill. I thought it was just so fun. I oh, I remember this. I got a beanie. I got this little hat. Especially in somewhere like Ithaca. Honestly, right now it's minus 12. Oh yeah, I got this nice little tote bag. You know, a little reusable bag. That's the same people that gave me the t-shirt. Um, this I actually really liked. This was from um, the like physics journal people. Um, it's a really nice notebook. Like look at that, a really nice notebook and pen. Oh, I remember this. This was cute. I actually can't remember who this was from, so I'm sorry, but um, it was a really cute little, little squishy stress bird. It's very cute. So that brings us to the end of this week's video on conferences or conferences 101 introduction to the world of conferences and my first experience at scientific conference i would love to hear your experiences at conferences if you've got any fun conference stories please put them down below in the comment section i just really want to hear everyone's fun science conference story things because i think it's fun if you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um i'll come out with new phd and grad school related videos every single week i'm excited to continue sharing my journey with you guys and i'll see you guys next week bye